Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, since it's July, it's National Bison Month, so I'm gloving up. I'm ready to go. Ben Jacobs from Takabe is here today, and we're talking about national, is it bison or bison? I've bison. Heard... I say bison. Like with the S, not the Z. Yes, bison. with the S. Bison. Okay, bison. Yeah, that's, that's how I say it, at least. So uh, you, you brought some ribs in here. Now, mm -hmm. is there a difference between cooking bison ribs versus cooking rib ribs? Yeah, so it's slightly different. Uh, bison ribs, just a totally different cut of meat. A bison's leaner. Um, the meat's not going to be the same as, you know, like a pork spare rib, right. where it's just going to fall off the bone. Slightly uh, different cooking process, so when people have bison ribs for the first time, it's a little different. It's so, tough for meat if you don't cook it right. So, so, so if you want it cooked right, you can go to Takabe. You guys will do it for them there. Yes, <laughs> yeah. But let's talk about what you're going to do today. We're talking about a dry rub first, and these are all the ingredients. There's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, yeah. So we have a long process with our uh, bison ribs, just kind of a slow cooking. But the dry rub here, and I'll let you throw sure, it in the what bowl. Are we... That's uh, chili powder. Chili powders first. And then that is our paprika. Just one? Just do it all. Let's do it all. Yeah, we'll save yeah. what's left. Okay. The next one is uh, black pepper. Black pepper is in. Yep. Uh, that is kosher salt. Big ground kosher salt. Yep. Then we got two, actually, of brown sugar, so brown I'll help sugars. you with that. Break we'll that pop up. Pop them down. So now well, this all goes together, and yep. when when you dry rub this, uh, and I'm going to let you do this to start. I may help yeah. you, but I'll go ahead. I'll throw these last couple in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're adding them yeah, all. Yeah, we got Let's garlic, go. sage. And smoked paprika. Smoked so it's paprika. A lot. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot that there's goes on. There's a lot here. going on, yeah. So when you rub this on, I mean, are you really trying to get it ingrained into the into the side of beef? Yeah, definitely. So we really coat the top and the bottom. Uh, we're pretty uh, pretty heavy on our dry rub, and then what we do after the dry rub is give it a 24-hour marinade. So we let it sit. So this is both sides normally, yep. right? Yep. And then okay. I, if you want, I can let you get down in there on that one. I'll rub this one in, and you start talking about the second one, because how long has that been So been this resting? one was prepped yesterday morning, and right. so we did the same process yesterday morning. And uh, we do about 24 racks at a time. Okay. We let them sit uh, overnight, just so we can make sure that everything's fully incorporated into that meat, and then we grill off in the morning before we cook. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I know a lot of people's ribs go oven, then grill, or grill, then oven. How do you we do We do it? grill, oven, grill. grill so oven, we grill. grill them just to sear everything in, all that seasoning. And then we do a slow braise and bison stock that we make. Well, let, let's um, head over to the grill and see see what. Uh, so we put these on, and what's your heat and how long? So we we uh, crank grill. it up as high as we possibly can. So we're looking at about 450 um, on the grill, and we give it at least four to five minutes per side. We have final product here. We have final product. Now, if you product. order at the restaurant, do you get that? That's you get a half rack. Of that. About half you of that. About of four that. ribs. Yep, yep. You get anywhere from three to four ribs, depending on the size, because bison are obviously. Uh, all different ranges of size, so we uh, we try and make sure that everyone gets the same amount of meat per uh, portion. Well, we're going to get a taste test inside, and uh, people, like I said, can check it out at Takabi. You have the two restaurants? We have two, one in Greenwood Village, and then we have one on 44th and Lowell in North Denver. Check them out. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, sir. We're going to get a taste test. We'll bring them inside in a minute. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Takabi. Food is delicious <laughs> Good there. Good stuff. Really yeah. good and stuff. Dan Daru already has his. Hey, Dan! <laughs> 